just watching your video and you can see I'm in tears because I understand you. Fellow Ghanaians, greetings from wherever you are watching me from. The name has always been Chris, aka with all the respect, this nonsense must stop and truly the nonsense will stop no amount of lies will defeat the truth. You know, I don't personally do story concerning individual. I always want to react to issues um, that is disturbing the country. I want to talk about the leaders. I want to put them on their tone. But this particular story uh, touches me and I want to react to it. And if uh, you haven't watched the video yet, I will urge you to take your time, watch the video from the beginning to the end. Then you share your comment. And if you've watched it before too, I will urge you, you share with others. Hit the notification. Follow us so that anytime we bring out stories like this, you'll be the first person. Uh, not hesitating, let's quickly watch the video, what it entails. Then when we come, we'll finalize it. Sayram Adabla. It's okay. I'm not here. I'm just watching your video and you can see I'm in tears because I understand you. Now, what is making me teary is what you I said here. Gonna, I am the side chick. What else? What else? He didn't meet me on the street. He met me in the bank. A private bank for that matter. I was working so hard. Everybody knew who Deborah was. But Charlie, life happened. Yeah. And I'm not going to cry. Yeah. But Charlie, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, you wouldn't understand. Let me tell you something. Me, I'm a mother. I have a 27 year old daughter who is unemployed, and she's a good kid. She finished KUNC, a KNUST, Tech, Kumasi, read biochemistry before she turned 20 years. She has no job, she has a master's. In public health from Lego, she has no job. She's a certified data miner. She did large data at IPMC. She's a good kid doing vacations. She's either taking French classes, IT classes, or doing internship. I exposed her. I've given her the best every parent who give a child. Yet, there's no job. And you are lucky you are in the system or you live in America where the system works. Let me tell you, I'm a single parent. I am gainfully employed. I live in my own house. I drive my own car. I earn decent income. Yet, my own friends, some men, in a, in a, a desperate attempt to get my child a job some of my own friends male friends look into my face and ask to sleep with me this is my daughter who is highly qualified a scientist a good kid an extreme introvert imagine she was on her own out there looking for a job if men could look into my face me penny told them like this. I don't need nothing from them. I earn my own money. I live my own good life. Yet, some men will insult my integrity and not to sleep with me. Some even told me in the face, if only you had given us what we've been looking for all these years, your, your daughter would have been working. And you, that is the country the youth don't have any future in Ghana. I am a single parent. I give my daughter the best. I sacrifice everything for her education. And she also did her part as a good kid. She took her studies seriously. She had her first degree before she turned 20. Yet, that is not enough 
in a country like Ghana to get a job, to get a career. So stop it. Imagine if my daughter was on her own out there. She would have fallen victim. You know? But thank God she has a mother who provides for her. So even, even though she's not working, she's okay. But the mother who worries about her daughter, I go about begging people for job for her and they ask to sleep with me. Me. I have a master's degree and I have hosts of certifications and I have a good job for over 20 years. For 20 years, I have been in one employment. I have all the exposures I wanted. I need nothing from a man. Yet, they will ask to sleep with me. And because I didn't do that, my daughter is still unemployed at age 27. The system is not working in Ghana. You are fortunate, NDA. You live in a country where the system works. Your kids finish school and they don't have to worry about work. Even if it is McDonald's, they will go and work and earn some living. So please stop being judgmental. Some of these men are just taking advantage of our daughters. I am a mother and I am a victim myself. So I'm telling you, Andy, if you don't know, if men could look into my face and ask to sleep with me before they help me with a job for my daughter, imagine what these young, young ones are going through. And they call themselves pastors. They call themselves lawyers. The man who slept in Sarah is an elder in the church. And the wife is a very good career woman. Yet, he was chasing this poor girl. That one, you are not talking about it. And he stop it. You live in America where the system works. Nothing is working in Ghana. So, and you please stop it. Please, if you haven't followed my page yet, if you haven't subscribed to my page and follow me yet, I'll urge you to do that. Uh, all the social media platforms is your 360 Media GH. And... Uh, Let's keep the vibe going. Only in Ghana that when issue come, we don't find out the genesis of the issue. We don't find out the cause of the issue, but we rather end up dragging the issue to the stand as if the person in question is at fault without knowing from both sides. So when this issue came out a lot of people were blasting the lady not in fact 100 percent of Ghanaians were blasting the lady not focusing on the man so i want to ask this question do we have laws in ghana or should we ask the parliamentarian to make a law to protect our sisters our parents from this kind of harassment because if you listen to the whole story, the lady is not a lazy type. She's a very hardworking, as she said in the video. So why, at the end of the day, this is this is not only in in the public sector, so not only in the private sector. Some even extend itself to to our religious sectors. You go and see a man of God. A man of God want to sleep with you. Hmm. You, 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 your sister is desperately looking for a job. The boss want to sleep with her before giving. What kind of what? Why? What kind of nonsense is this? Do we have laws? If we have laws, how are those laws supposed to work? Somebody tag a fear, a fear pokua for me. Yeah, and if you know any lawyer, somebody tag that lawyer for me. Any any law practitioner personnel that you know, tag them. Let them come and explain things to our young ones. So that we know, we know that some ladies are very desperate to do anything, anyhow. We know. But we have some genuine ones that at the end of the day, they are just trying to live a life and find a decent job for themselves. So if you're a lady and you find yourself in this situation, how do you go about it? Please, the law practitioners, please, the lawyers. In fact, you should come and educate Ghanaians on this whole thing. You should come and educate the youth about this whole thing so that we'll be aware, so that nobody will take advantage 
of our sisters and our mothers. Look at a whole mother trying to find a job for the daughter. Men are, are after her to sleep with her. Like what kind of madness is this? What kind of madness is this? So if this woman gave, give herself out, they will sleep with her and give the job to her, uh, the daughter, and after that they will be still going after the daughter. What kind of madness and heartless behavior is some of the men? We have, we have decent men. We have some decent men that they won't do that. We have decent. And you see, the most annoying part is that these people that are doing all these rubbish things, some are a role players in their religious sectors, being it a Christian sector or a Muslim sector or a traditional sector, most are role players. A key main people, but at the end of the day, trying to like you going into it some up. Yeah, so I think it's, it's it's nonsense, it's rubbish, it's disgusting, it's uncalled for, it is unpronounced attitude of some men, and this must stop, this nonsense must stop. So if you know any lawyer, if you know any law practitioner, any judge, anyone who can help us, educate us to know what actually we need to do, our sisters need to do, because if somebody, like, 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 yeah, please, if you haven't followed me yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel yet and uh, all the social media platform yet. I'll urge you to do that. It's short 360 Media GH. Me.